you doing, team? I just wanted to take a few minutes here and give you a little bit of a pep talk because right about now you're, uh, you've been in the process of raising support for a little while, your letters are out in the mail, and now comes the real challenge, follow-up phone calls. Uh, this is such a critical piece. You know, we tell you, um, and it's true, that, that sending out letters is step one of a two-step process. You know, it's part of casting the vision for what is, what is it that you're passionate about and then asking them to be on board. And so I just want to challenge and encourage you that you can do this and you can see the results and it's, it's not about you. Yes, you're going to benefit, but the greater benefit is actually to the people in Uganda who are serving and the people you're going to ask to support you, believe it or not. Here's how that works. One of our huge principles when we're talking about fundraising is the idea that where your treasure is, there your heart is. And so we're asking people to put their treasure in our hands so that we can actually go and do this work that we're doing. I think we all would agree that people's heart in our community needs to change for serving the poor and for meeting needs and stopping suffering in this world. And, and so part of what we're doing is we're inviting them to have a complete transformation of heart that starts with getting their money in motion. And so it's not about you and that you have a need. It's the fact that they have an opportunity to really change the way they live their lives. And the invitation comes when you make that phone call and say something like this. Hey, John, how you doing? This is James. You know, I just sent you a letter a couple weeks ago. And uh, I just want to call and just make sure you got that and see if you had any questions about what I'm doing. I am so excited to be going to Uganda with the Ugandan Water Project. And we leave in just a, you know, just a month or so. And right now, I just want to invite you to be part of my support team. And I wondered, is there any reason why I couldn't count on you for, say, 50 to 100 bucks to be part of giving water and giving life in Uganda? And then you'd be quiet. Being quiet after you ask that question is such an important part because they need a chance to listen to what you say and respond to the question. And if the answer is, no, we really can't do that right now, uh, the answer that you give them is, great, well I just wanted to confirm and see what was going on with you guys and make sure above all that you just knew what we were part of. And uh, I just wanted to say thanks and uh, you know, I'll be sure to let you know how this trip goes next time I see you. But if they say yes, it's another way for you to celebrate and say, that is fantastic. You know, I just want to make sure that we get that taken care of. So you let me know if it's easier for me to send you a link by PayPal or if you just want to drop it in the mail. Um, and I'll be sure to, re to follow up with you when I get back. So you can do this and, and you're going to see tremendous results. People are going to be encouraged that they've been part of this. And so I want to just encourage you, don't be afraid of the phone, right? We spend so much time interacting with our phone. Don't be afraid of the phone just because you're asking for money. Also, don't wait for it to feel comfortable. You know, I've been living on support for a number of years. I mean, every, every dime that I get paid happens because people have had that conversation with me where we talk about, about support. And so I understand how you feel. It always feels a little strange and a little uncomfortable to be asking people for their money. But the reality is if you keep the focus on who really benefits, the person you're asking and the people in Uganda, and you're like a distant third. Um, so just be confident that it isn't selfish what you're asking. It's critical. It's about mobilizing our community around a set of values and making an impact in Uganda. And I'm telling you, if you'll do it, you're going to see the results. You're going to see huge results. I mean, it, it just happens. And it's not always about a check for a thousand bucks. Sometimes it's ten dollars. It's ten critical dollars that represent something tremendous in a life. I've photocopied money, you know, on the on the printer here that and made notes about a story because that ten bucks, that five bucks that came in, um, meant more um, to the person who, from because of the person who gave it than some of the larger uh, donations you get. But I'm telling you, it can happen for you. It's happened for more than a hundred other people that have been sitting right where you're sitting. And what we look forward to is over the next couple weeks, seeing the results of you courageously stepping out and challenging people to step up and get behind you. So get on the phone, ask them, wait for the answer, and be confident that we're, we're going to do this together.